a little bit topic left from the concept of carbohydrates from the previous from the category of disaccharides previously explained by us sucrose maltose and lactose are the syllabus sucrose is made up of beta d glucose sorry alpha d glucose and beta d fructose here this is called as non reducing sugar because when c1 position of alpha d glucose connected to c2 position of beta d fructose there is no formation or there is no re uh, produ production of carbonyls in the sucrose this is the reason why sucrose cannot reduce either failing solution or uh, tollens solution or tollens reagent hence it is called as non reducing sugar similarly maltose and lactose they are also disaccharides and these two disaccharides in these two disaccharides c1 position of first carbohydrate or first monosaccharide connected to c4 position of second carbohydrate for example let us consider maltose it is made up of two alpha d glucose molecules c1 position of first alpha d glucose molecule connected to c4 position of second alpha d glucose molecule in this regard there is a possibility of generation of carbonyl character in the second carbohydrate the generated regenerated carbonyls may reduce failings and tollens hence it is called as reducing sugar in the same aspect expected in case of lactose also that means among the three chakrates explained by me in the previous class sucrose is non reducing sugar whereas maltose and lactose are reducing sugars so this is the concepts related to carbohydrates after completion of carbohydrate one more important biomolecules which are highly helps uh, for living organism are proteins proteins actually the word protein is derived from word protein is derived from greek word proteus protein is a word actually it is derived from greek word proteus in greek language proteus means primary or prime importance primary or prime importance that means most of the times the most important biomolecules for living organism are carbohydrates followed by proteins the name itself indicates prime importance goes to proteins now all the protein molecules are made up of alpha amino acids protein molecules are made up of alpha amino acids the chief food sources i diet sources for protein are milk cheese pulses meat etc so we can consider proteins all the proteins are made up of alpha amino acids huge number of alpha amino acids reacts with each other to produce a long polypeptide chain the resulting long polypeptide chain by the addition of one alpha amino acid with another alpha amino acid is called as protein here these proteins are essentially are high quantitatively available in milk cheese 
pulses, meat, etc. Here, the proteins are much important to regulate growth. And these are important to maintain biological functions, biological functions and structures. Simply we can consider as proteins are the basis fundamental building blocks to maintain biological functions and structures of living organism body. So as we explained just now, all the protein molecules are nothing but polypeptides. They are made up of alpha amino acids. So this is the reason why. So under the type of or under the heading of proteins, we have to learn about amino acids. Amino acids. What are amino acids? Now, name itself suggests that the organic compounds which are having amino group, this is called amino group and acid group, we can write it as COOH, it is carboxylic acid group. The chemical substances made up of amino group and acid functional group are called as amino acids it is amine group and it is acid group combinedly called as amine group here based on compared to position of acid The amine group may be present at second position, third position, fourth position, fifth position. So, based on the position of amine and acid, the uh, amino acids are classified into alpha amino acids, alpha amino acids, beta amino acids, gamma amino acids, delta amino acids etc